Governor Powi brought this issue to the attention of the Prime Minister in Parliament after this report was published yesterday by a daily newspaper. He says it was revealed by the Valuer General that he was forced to increase the actual land value of 400 million kina to 700 million kina, an increase of 200 million kina. Governor Powi asked the Prime Minister to clarify this and if the report can be tabled in Parliament. Mr. Speaker, we like uh, asking Prime Minister through you, display me true or no God. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, 300 million years go away. Number three question, enough government penny mat, some old company, na, private company operate long, multi queer war facilities, how old kissim, title na, all this flow facilities long, this flow of benefit through long, some old this flow money or no god. I think the people of Papua New Guinea, through this parliament, we need to know this. Prime Minister Marape, in response, says the matter is now before the Commission of Inquiry, just like the USB loan, and asked the governor to respect the process of the inquiry. He reiterated that once the inquiry process is completed, then the report will be tabled in Parliament. The matter is now under a Commission of Inquiry. Uh, this plot transaction, um, time you may come up on board, will feel, the people feel that you may need to review. And one kind of UBS, uh, Motu Care Port, let me stop on the inquiry. So, me like uh, Mr. Speaker, through you, asking Governor Law, uh, respecting process for inquiry law complete. Uh, it's a, over a billion kina transaction that took place in a port that some of us felt at the time the value was not at 700 uh, million kina. And uh, for the value general to come out and said that he was forced. I think this is all part of the process of the inquiry that is taking place. So allow the process of inquiry to complete its course. And as the process is complete, we'll table the report on the floor of parliament and for appropriate actions to take course. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has indicated to Parliament that the report on the Union Bank of Switzerland or the UBS loan inquiry will be presented before this Parliament rises. Stella Martin, NBC National News, Port Moresby.